listening to DC's Home for Classic Rock, 105.9 The Edge, and on the phone from Woodstock, New York, the incomparable master of the Telecaster, Jim Weeder from the band. Jim, good morning. How you doing? I'm doing great, Tom. Good to hear from you. I know you're very excited. You'll be at Wolf Trap tomorrow night, rocking there on stage. Yeah, it's. Uh, I always love playing that, that uh, venue. It's just beautiful, and uh, the sound is great, and... Man, there's nothing like a D.C. audience down there. And you're with your old bandmate and comrade, Levon Helm. You're part of that band. Yeah, it's great to be back with Levon. And, uh, man, he's just playing better than ever, and the band is just fantastic. It's just uh, uh, everybody's a soloist in their own right, and, uh, and it's, it's really an ensemble. It is incredible, and just over the past few years, uh, he's gone up the charts with uh, Grammy Awards, uh, two great-selling records, and now a live one um, from the Ryman, right? I believe so, yes. And it's uh, it's really a good album. A lot of new arrangements in the set list. I notice you do the bands back to Memphis, but you do it a different way, don't you, Jimmy? Yeah, there's a bunch of uh, um, a bunch of different ones, you know, that we'll do from the band and. Um, and from his new records, and uh, you never know, I might even end up doing Deep Feeling. That's right, and uh, your roots go very, very deep. We know that from uh, when you first started out. You, of course, idolize one of our guitar heroes here in Washington, Roy Buchanan, and uh, Danny Gatton and Link Ray, all uh, household names here in the Washington area, and you kind of continue the legacy by doing what you do, but you also have a side project, Project Percolator. How are they doing? They're doing good. Uh, you know, I've been working so much with Levon that we haven't been working as much. We went out to Switzerland and toured Europe a little bit in the spring. And um, going to do some shows in California. So I'm, I'm kind of splitting it up between uh, primarily working with Levon and then on time off uh, touring with Project Percolator. And I'm getting ready to write a new record. Are you really? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, i got to come up with something fresh. The last one has is, is been a few years now, so... I met you in the 1980s when you joined the band, when they regrouped and went out on the road uh, without Robbie Robertson. And, of course, Robbie had a connection with uh, Eric Clapton. We all know that. But so did you when Jubilation came out. Eric also contributed to that project, didn't he? Yeah, he played on a track on that, and uh, we, we got to meet Eric um, when we did the Bob Dylan thing at Madison Square Garden. He's just a really humble, really great musician. So good to... Uh, to meet such a great person who's changed the world for guitar and still very humble and just down earth cat. You're listening to DC's only classic rock station that rocks 105.9 The Edge. I'm Thomas Grooms on the phone with us from Woodstock, New York. Jim Weeder who will be in town on June the 9th at Wolf Trap with a Levon Helm band. Tickets still available. Log on to www.wolftrap.org. And what are we in store for Thursday night, Jimmy? Um, I think you're in store for a, a heck of a show. I mean, uh, you got Larry Campbell on guitar and uh, an amazing horn section, including Howard Johnson on the tuba and baritone and and uh, just all the great players from Clark Gayton on the trombone to Brian on the piano. And uh, it's just, uh, of course, Levon's daughter, Amy Helm. And uh, it's, it's just a... Uh, an amazing ensemble of musicians. I think there's about 10 or 12 of us up there. Well, Jimmy, you have quite a history as a guitar slinger, no doubt about it. That's why you have the moniker, the master of the Telecaster. You are mentioned in Keith Richards' autobiography. He talked about the session that you guys played up in Woodstock um, a few years ago. You remember that night? Yeah, that was a blast. I mean, we had Scotty Moore and... Uh and DJ Fontana and Paul Burleson and uh, well, we cut Deuce and a Quarter with Keith and the band and it was just a, well, a big thrill for me because got to uh, hang with Scotty Moore and DJ and, and Keith and um, basically asked Scotty how to play all those Elvis tunes that really started me on the guitar from Hound Dog to <clears throat> Good Rockin' Tonight to just about everything, showed us everything that night and Rick kept asking him, how, how's this go? How's that go? And he just kept playing them. They were in good spirits, needless to say. You're rocking on 105.9 The Edge. I'm Tom Grooms. And on the phone with us from Woodstock, New York, Jimmy Weeder, the master of the Telecaster. He's in town Thursday night at Wolf Trap with the Levon Helm Band. What's ahead for Jim Weeder in the days to come? Um, 
Well, we're, we're touring a lot with Levon um, all summer, working on writing a new a new record and a couple of shows here and there with Project Percolator, uh, going out to California and doing a, a short tour in August. So um, I'm really looking forward to, uh, you know, it's all about keeping playing, you know. You definitely do that, and we do want to promote the Midnight Ramble. It uh, goes on just about every weekend up in Woodstock, New York. You can log on to Levon's website, levonhelm.com, for more details and information, right? Or you can log on to jimweeder.com and find out what you're going to be, right, Jimmy? Absolutely. Uh, all you got to do is go to jimweeder.com, and uh, they'll, they'll know where I'm going. Thank you so much for rapping with us this morning on The Edge and uh, break a leg Thursday night. Thanks, Tom. We'll see you down there. All right, buddy, and uh, take care and tell Levon a belated happy birthday. Uh, will do. Thank you, Jimmy. Take Bye -bye. care, bro. All right.